Hi and welcome students. In today's video I'm going to be talking to you about Publisher 2016 and how to create a custom font and custom color scheme for your publications. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you'll see here is a blank publisher document and I'm going to go over color schemes first. So occasionally when you're running a business you want to have your uh, color scheme match up with your company's logo or your company's colors. So let's find out how to do that for all of our documents. And so if I go to the page design tab uh, and I click right there you're gonna see a group right here called schemes now publisher has a whole list of different schemes here that you can choose from and these are your color schemes within this area and if I click this more button right here it's kind of hard to see but it's at the bottom right of the uh, gallery and you click that that's gonna show all of your themes and you have two uh, different sets of themes here and a lot of people choose their color schemes based off of these uh, preset colors but you could actually set one that is um, close to the, the logo that you may have for your business so we're gonna go right here and we will uh, click on create new color scheme now the cool thing about doing this is you could actually save the scheme and it's going to be saved on all of your publications that you could use it at any time so let's click create new color scheme. I click that and then you'll see that uh, you'll see you'll see this dialog box pop up and then you'll see your main color as well as your accent colors okay so uh, it gives you a sample down here of what it'll look like and it says main text is black now if I'm using a white document like this in the background then black is going to be just fine again I don't want to have my main text be say yellow on a white background because you're not going to be able to see the text so I'm going to go down here to the accent colors and these accent colors are hyperlink text, uh, follow the hyperlink text, so on and so forth, but these are also the colors uh, that will appear on say your uh, text boxes and other graphical elements that you put into your document. So um, let's go ahead and name it first. So right down here it says uh, color scheme name and we'll just call it Pizza Palace. Let's say that we run a small pizza store and we call it Pizza Palace. And so uh, there's the name of our color scheme, and then I could choose the colors right up here. So let's say that I want accent one to be uh, maybe this red color. That might be a good one, or maybe a dark blue. I'll go with blue for this one. And then uh, let's say accent two, okay, the next one here. That one can be this red color, so on and so forth. So I could actually create a custom color scheme right in this area. Now also keep in mind that you don't just have to choose from these colors here. You guys will see that maybe uh, this palette is not large enough for or exact enough of a color that you want to find. And so if you go right here to more colors at the bottom of the gallery and you click that, it'll open up a colors dialog box. And you have these three options up here at the top to choose from. Uh, you'll see that uh, some have more colors than others. Like custom here has a whole different uh, group of colors that you could actually customize right in this area with red, green, and blue options and but I'm going to choose standard here standard is a nice uh, area to see a bunch of different types of colors and let's say that I want this light blue right here I could just click on that and then you can um, click OK and you'll see that that color blue now appears right there and so this will be my color set for this one and you'll see the changes compared to how they were before and I click OK and there we go so now the pizza palace is uh, currently on my publisher uh, publication here and you'll also see that anytime I open up the schemes group again for the color schemes you're also gonna see custom right up here and then pizza palace will display right there that way uh, you always have it so even if I close this document and open up a new one my pizza palace color scheme will stay right there alright so there's uh, your color schemes and how to change those on your publications and this is very similar to changing a theme on a word document if you are familiar with word and so those are kinda of your theme colors right there and those are the ones that I set alright Right, so enough with the colors that's already set right up there at the top we're now going to look right over here at fonts and so you'll see that when you click on the fonts uh, button these are your font schemes and typically these ones that you see here are two sets of, thought of uh, fonts that look good together okay and so you'll see a bunch of them down here but you could also create a new font scheme right down here at the bottom this is really good for small businesses if you always want to maintain 
um, a color scheme and a font scheme on all of your publications. That way you're not constantly uh, trying to figure out, oh, I used this color on one publication and now I have to go back and find uh, that color again on a new publication. Let's say that you send out a newsletter every month. If you set up the font scheme and you set up your templates correctly, you should only need to change the text and images um, on the page. So right here I'm going to go to create new font scheme. I click that and so now I can choose uh, a uh, heading font and a body font that work well for my uh, document. Well first thing that I actually want to do is change the font scheme name. Uh, so some of my students sometimes forget to uh, change the name there and uh, then it just it ends up being called font one or whatever it was. Uh, the default was called. So let's say that I want to change my heading font. If I click this drop down arrow, uh, then I can uh, shuffle through the whole list of fonts there. So to uh, make that basically a little bit easier, I'm just going to type the first letter of the font I want. In this case, I'm going to choose Gabriola, which is that one right there. And I choose it, and you'll see that the headings will now be in Gabriola font. And let's say that I want Arial for the body. I'm going to click on uh, on the drop down arrow and then I'm going to type it A for Arial, Arial. and then uh, right here there's Arial. Okay so I choose that and so we have Gabriola for the heading font, Arial for the body font and there we go so that's your sample right there and I click save and now whenever I enter in heading or uh, body text that's the default font that will appear on the publication. So hopefully this video has helped you learn how to change your color font scheme or your color schemes as well as your font schemes for the all of the publications that you may create for a small business or that you may be creating within your classes. So thank you so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. If you have any questions please put them into the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.